Hi there, my name is Tobias Branson. I'm the creator of Autoresponder University and welcome to another video release. Today I'm going to show you how I have found a very very easy and quick way of overcoming a common web problem in terms of web form. And as you can see here we're in the uh, list settings web form function in the design form. And the common problem is that we can have question marks here in our web forms as you can see here and I found a quick workaround to this but first let me show you what happens when we try to uh, enter a question here with a, um, with a question mark I'm going to click add and then however it's going to give its uh, error message stating that we've used any valid characters now I took this up with um, a Weber customer service this morning and they didn't have any easy workaround solution to this so given the amount of dedication and great work that they're doing they helped me on numerous occasions I thought you know why don't I try to figure this out for myself and then get back to them and of course share it with you all and uh, I found a very easy workaround solution to that so let me show you how to do that first when you create your field you just forget about including the question mark just add it as it is then we're going to add it to our web form and as you can see we don't have any question mark here yet so here comes the very easy and quick workaround just go and uh, click on the blue button with the um, pen icon on it like this and here where it says label just add your question mark here and press OK that's how easy it was and that's how quick it was and let me repeat the same for the rest of the fields here There, very quick, very easy, very efficient to do. Now, I'm not a uh, engineer over at a Weber, but I do think that why you can't do it with the first uh, uh, label where you enter the field is uh, probably related to their coding and that integration with their database. Because sometimes including question marks could mean that it's a form of code and it's going to mess up a Weber system. So this is a very easy way that you can do it. Now, if you want to get more updates on tips and tricks like this or get my special report that I'm creating about common autoresponder related problems and of course answering those problems that are both generic to autoresponders and Weber specific, I strongly encourage you to uh, visit my website http www.autoresponder-university.com and subscribe to my newsletter by filling in any of the forms that you will find on the site and you will receive updates on tips and tricks like this and my uh, special autoresponder problem report and solutions. That was all I had for you today. Have an empowering day.